I want to share a couple of nuggets with you um, on our culture. I mean, St. Lucia really is a composite of quite a number of varied histories and heritage. And we are who we are because of all the people who have lived here. So certainly we do have a very, very strong British roots, French roots, and you want to mix that with the Amerindian influences. And certainly you can see here, this, this comes from the Amerindian era, and this is a coal pot. And you will find this in the typical standard St. Lucian home. And we'll have, a, we'll have a lesson on how to use it next time. But certainly this is your coal pot, um, which is used for very, very special dishes. And then sitting on top of it, um, and again, it's an Amerindian influence. Let me keep the focus for you. Then you have your can of weed, which, which sits on top, and then you're able to do um, your cooking. What do I have in there? Well, listen, when you want it to then fuse and integrate African influences, and then certainly later on in the history, we got the Indian, as in East Indian influences. So let me tell you, the food is absolutely very, very interesting. So for those of you who know about Creole cuisine, it's a Creolization of all those influences that makes it very, very interesting. And don't be fooled, St. Lucia also offers you fabulous global international dining from Five Star, um, white glove service, and, and certainly we do have our, our street side barbecues and Creole bread. And we are a chocolate island. Um, have you seen these before? Cocoa. This is a cocoa pod. And certainly um, our children love to go out into the garden and you kind of have to either break the cocoa pod and we make a lot of great, there we go, you get the nice um, nectar film like here. I'm not going to put it in my mouth because you know how that is and I don't want to make you jealous. But then certainly those beans are then roasted and then it becomes fabulous chocolate. And, and quite a few of our producers here produce organic chocolate. Here we have a cocoa stick and this is fabulous for those cold winter months when you certainly need your fabulous St. Lucian chocolate. Um, and I want to tell you, there are a lot of influences that come from the, the East Indians as well. So you can certainly find quite a bit of curries as well. You will end up finding quite a bit of, but do not come to St. Lucia if you're on a diet, please. That does not work out so well right? Because you have all this fried goodness. Hello, exhibit one. This is a bake and this is just fabulous with a bit of that cooked cod. And again, that can be traced right through our history. So, and I, I want to tell you as much as we have James Baird award-winning chefs and a number of our restaurants in our, in a few of our hotels have been created and the menus, I should say, were guided and crafted by James Beard chefs. I want to tell you that the most exciting chefs are the up and coming ones that you find in our resorts at this time. So, and, and, and guess what? There are vegan options and quite a number of our resorts do also cater to those um, allergies and, and particular dietary needs. I want to share one more with you. And I, have some more as well. You heard of breadfruit, right? Definitely was an import. Well, this, my friends, is a breadfruit gin. It is distilled and bottled right here in St. Lucia. And, and interestingly enough, why I'm sharing that is breadfruit is gluten-free. So you know, you know how it is. It's it's very important to make sure everybody um, is satisfied. But when you talk about the primary um, dishes in a St. Lucian home, then bakes are going to feature very prominently, right? And a lot, a lot of savory ingredients, garlic, 
garlic very very important i don't need to show you that you know what that looks like but this fabulous green sauce made by one of our companies baron is fabulous this as a marinade when you come to saint lucia make sure you pick this up and if not call rod call nicole um, <laughs> we will find a way to get it for you but the point of the matter is there is something about saint lucia's cultural influences that is going to be familiar to you because it's a fusion of all these influences all these people who have lived here and then certainly by the way full disclosure i had a mango but i but i ate it saint lucia has over 60 varieties of mangoes and our hotels are very very happy when they're in season to put them right on the menu whether they be in cocktails or mocktails, as well as in dishes, um, certainly to tantalize your palate. So um, the culture, the music, just the way the people move, what you will find in St. Lucia is that there is a sophistication. And I certainly think that that is what resonates with the visitor that comes to St. Lucia. It's, it's again, those details and that attention to personalizing and customizing the entire experience for you.